Alright guys, welcome to an episode of Wheel Hobbies. Here we are today with uh, Gary, aka Loom King. So we've got uh, Dave Sires' Vector in today from uh, the Wheel Hobbies Facebook group. Uh, this is a Vector that Gary built. Um, tell us what you've done to this Gary and how it, how it came when you first had it and what, what you've done to it. Well, originally it started life of uh, 1.8 small block club, I believe, I think it was. Yeah, where did we go for it? Was it Ellesmere Portway, wasn't it? Yeah, I done with Jay Jones. Jay Jones, Ellesmere. Shout out to you there, mate. Yeah, Ellesmere Port we went for this car. I remember taking you for it. Yeah, obviously when we first picked it up, she looked quite nice. Uh, you've done bumpers, colour coded different things. Yeah. Um, I think I gave him about, was it 450 for it? It was a nice base model, wasn't it? Well, you know, yeah, it was what you were looking like for. Stuff. Well, no, it not, didn't. Cosmetically it did, but not mechanically, was it? It's got a clean body, hasn't it? Yeah, Which is the, yeah. For, for one of the most age, important things. It is pretty clean. So um, basically, we got it up to an old unit I had, and uh, it was left up there, stripped. Engine bay was completely gutted, all the brackets, wiring limb was ripped out. And I got to the point where I've had enough of this. I was going to get the armor to it, but I just left it. So it went four or five months maybe and I even forgot that I even owned the car. PBS was coming up and I thought hang on I've got that Vectra still. So we had about eight weeks, nine weeks till the show and um, I got into it and it is how it is now. One to the bonnet, we've got a Saab Vitro 4 engine. Oh nice. We've also opted on this occasion to go for a charge cooler rather than a front mounted cooler. Um, so obviously that stays lovely and cold, especially in this That's cold That's a big weather. turbo, Gary. Yeah, the turbo's off a Cummins diesel. Um, it's that big. I think I remember it on one of my old vehicles. Yeah, it's your old one, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I, uh, I ran this on one of my builds. Oh, so that's shame, really. I've still got your original um, log manifold you made. I should have... Uh... Oh, that would have been funny. Yeah. So uh, you had another manifold made for this, didn't I you, did. Gary? I went to Timex at um, Trust SAS Customs. He made me a custom stainless steel log manifold, which I will. You can't really see it very well, but you, it is in there. Yep, go ahead. As you can see. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, it's all the way. Obviously, wastegate over this end. Screamer yeah. pipe straight down. Um, so when driving, it just, apart from the three inch full straight back, um, she's quite loud, but she doesn't sound like a turbo. So what power does this thing put out, guys? Um, last time it was on the dyno, it was 385 brake. Um, it has been slightly tweaked, but obviously it's got support mods. Help all set HX35 turbo, 875 Decker injectors, trust three bar map sensor, um, see this mill wastegate. See this engine as well uh, was chosen for a reason. Um, basically, Gary bought an engine initially. Uh, what was that engine like, Gaz? The, the first engine you got, which was going to go in it, here. It was uh, an LPG converted one, which it got that hot even when I was taking the inlet manifold off the inlet manifold studs snapped yeah never known that before so um, as some of you guys may know I'm a window cleaner uh, and out of my window cleaning round I used to clean an old fella's house a bungalow even and uh, he had a Saab 9000 sat there doing nothing it was all covered in green so um, basically I, I left a note with him and I said you know if ever you want to get rid of that Saab let me know because I'd be interested in it so uh, Later on, I had a, had a call off uh, one of his family members. The uh, old fellow had been put into a home. So they offered me the car. I gave a hundred pound for the Saab 93. Hundred pound, yeah. I feel like I was robbed on this engine. Yeah, you bought it off one of my mates, didn't you? Yeah. Um, so yeah, a hundred pound. But the thing was with this engine was it was a, a 93,000 mile engine with full Saab genuine service history. Um, it was a low pressure turbo car. It had never seen boost and it had been very, very, very well maintained. Uh, so I just had a good feeling about this engine. And uh, turns out I was right this time. I'm not always right, no, quite often right. wrong. But, but at this, you know, this particular time, but obviously, if, if you take some closer views in the engine bay, then you'll see that there is, apart from your obvious engine loom, there is no wiring loom. There's no brake pipes either, apart from obviously just coming out of yeah, there. Yeah, where's the, where's the ABS? The, uh, ABS, the pump ABS pump is behind the dash. And so it, all the brake pipes have re rerouted all throughout the car. 
Is also, that the charge cooler pipes going yeah, running through yeah. the bulkhead as well? Yeah, they're charge cooler pipes down there. Nice grommets there around that. It's yeah. a nice build. Yeah, also got Mark IV E pass pump fitted. Custom nice. brackets. Very custom nice. Hydraulic and bridges. this, if I'm not mistaken, looks like a Saab 9000 header tank. It is. Am I right? No, that's <laughs> I thought it was. I thought yeah. I recognised that. Yeah, so obviously we've got a Kenlo fan, high power fan on it. None of these cheap eBay fans. No, none of these cheap fans. Not, also, not like what's going on the 093. <laughs> yeah. Obviously we've got a custom top, stainless top hat with the fan switch. Uh, yeah, oh, stainless top hose, you mean? Yes. With the, yeah, I know what you mean. What did I say? Uh, top hat. Yep. yep. So, oh, but bad. you have got a custom... Um, oh, yes. Wasn't that off a Mercedes? A Mercedes compressor, yes. And that was that was fabricated five. into the yeah, stock plan, wasn't it? Ellis up in uh, St. Martin's. Yeah, bank top industrial yeah. estate, uh, Ellis Fabrication, if you want yeah, to check out, check out his, his page. He's a good chap. Yeah. So, uh, what, what, what brakes is this running and what wheels? Yeah. What? Uh, phase one GSI alloys. Drilled and grooved discs. Drilled and grooved 288 brakes. Yeah. Stop ample enough. Nice. So interior wise, I notice you've got that panel over there which looks like a traffic light with... Yeah. It's kind of like a traffic light. What's, what's that do, Gaz? Uh, well, obviously the red button is for boost cut. Right, okay. Orange button's for fan override and the blue button is for the charge cooler pump, which is nicely installed in the boot. Right, okay. So, um, exhaust wise, um, what, what's he running exhaust wise? He's running a straight through all the way to about three inch with um, a straight through muffler. Oh, there's a sense section, but she's loud. Right, okay. Yep. And it's on, a, it's on an F23 Vectra gearbox, isn't it? Yep. Uh, with a Vigan, Vigan clutch, Vigan am I right? Clutch, yep. And that seems to be taking the power fairly well at the moment. Yep. And there's our, uh, oh, nice. There's Very our water nice. tank for the charge cooler. Wow, is, is is that a custom made one or something yes, you bought? Yes, um, Graham, Dave Sire's uh, dad, he's done all the work to himself. I was going to say, I have not seen that because <laughs> the no, audience but... might laugh now. Now, uh, what we did <laughs> for we the go. first one <laughs> is uh, I had a window cleaning backpack pump set up, which uh, we just shoved this window cleaning sort of tank thing in the boot just to, yeah. to get it going. It was cable tied um, just to get it down to pop. Yeah, yeah, it? yeah, yeah. But that that's a nice job. Yeah. Just finish off nicely. So that's the charge cooler tank and the pump's obviously somewhere. Yeah, the battery's obviously relocated there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. Very nice. But anyway, guys, this car is actually up for sale. Is it? Yeah, it's up for sale. So Dave's um, selling this car? He is selling it. Um, but the reason why it's come back here is because a couple of issues that want addressing. It's going to be having some new top strut mount bearings, new cracker ends. So basically, it's going so to be. To be fair, um, Spared no expense on this car, really, when you no, think about no. it. This car has had a lot of love, even though at first I sort of neglected it, leaving it in the wheel of the beast. She's yeah. a bit of a beast, really, isn't she? Yeah, there won't be any others like it. I mean, the, the engine bay's been all debracketed, isn't it? Yes, I mean, obviously, I could have gone to the next level and skimmed it all out, but, yeah, but the whole look, car is built it's today, tidy. It's very tidy, mate. You know, you know, all, all the brake pipes are new. Yeah. Um, Obviously, because the, the ABS pump isn't that behind the dash. Yeah, as we did mention that in the beginning. Yeah, we you did actually. Yeah. yeah. So basically, you still got full access. There is no shopping at all in there. Whether Dave's got his pawn in there, I don't know. Is he in there? No. So if you pull, if you pull this out, yeah, so you yes. gain access to the ABS pump. Yeah. Or you can actually gain access to it underneath the scuttle panel there as well. That's impressive. Yeah. So.
Well guys, I think that's it for this episode of Wheel Hobbies. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell button. There's going to be regular videos. <laughs> Cheers guys, take care now. Peace. Bye bye.